What's good, y'all? This is C Certified Brewhead, and welcome to another One Minute Beer Review here on Beer West. This evening, I have my glorious partner in everything, Tiffany Alexis here, and tonight we're going to be covering our latest collaboration. This one is called Love Dust. It is BAOS with Echo Session Ales and Broadway Micro Brasserie. This is an idea that I threw at JF from Echo Session Ales. Like somewhat ridiculously. Yeah. yeah, I said, let's do a glitter beer. And he was like, he actually followed up on it. So we ended up creating essentially a beer with all the buzzwords in it that some people are going to get hilariously angry about, and I can't wait to see it. But this is a Session Kvik New England IPA with lactose, of course, and red glitter dust. So it's called Love Dust. Of course, it is brewed especially for Valentine's Day, oh, being, yeah. and, and it's uh, just a glorious beer. Now, you might notice we printed it upside down. Now, that was intentionally... Uh, it will be presented on the shelves in Depeneurs across Quebec this way. And on the side here, we actually have instructions on what to do. Now, being it's a glitter beer with actual glitter dust added to it, it can sometimes settle at the bottom of the can. So what we want people to do is make sure they're getting the best glitter um, experience. There you go. Yeah. I was going to say flavor yeah, experience. A glittery exactly experience. What it is. Yeah. So it's going to be like this. It says retourne moi means turn me upside down the other way. So you turn it up and now the can is upside down here but the instructions are the right way up so it's going to tell you uh exactly what to do pour half stir lightly pour and enjoy the hops in this beer it is sabro galaxy vic secret and calypso and it's dry hopped with sabro so ready for the pour shot let's do it Oof. <laughs> this is only the second time i've had this so i'm very very excited let's go yeah. Ooh, so Ooh, pretty. Look at that. I just love that you can actually see like the glitter just swirling gorgeously around the. the Isn't that crazy? It is so well. So, this was uh, JF's idea. I gotta give all props to JF for the name Love Dust and for the idea of the red glitter dust. He did all the research. I mentioned Sabro, kind of shot in the dark because it's been a big favorite hop for me personally. Um, it was tough to get, and at the last minute, there was an availability to get some Sabro. So, like, yes, let's do it. So basically the beer has a nice uh, bright red color with the shimmering of the, um, the glitter there. The head is kind of like a pink color, which is even cooler. Now the nose, what are you getting there, Tiff? I'm getting all coconut from the side. Yeah, very coconutty. Yeah. Super coconut. I want to put some more into want more uh, glitter. glitter. <laughs> Um, now also the beer, it is a session beer, Echo Session Ales, it is 3.9%, mm -hmm. uh, 46 IBU, so it's super light. Look, do you want to stare at it or not, or do you want to drink it? I feel like, get it in us. Get it in us. Oh Man, yeah. this is so good. It's so good, I'm really happy. I'm so proud yeah, of this. I'm super happy with it. It's and like, I love it because it's light, but it has such like a creamy, flavorful body. Like yeah. being able to do this at this percentage is so cool to me. And like shout out like this methodology of Echo Session Nails. Like I love this because I can also drink 25 of them today. Yeah, probably not. Probably not. We'll be good. I mean, we'll be fine. Also, speaking of shout outs, it was brewed in also in conjunction with Broadway. Yeah. Uh, in Shawinigan, in Quebec. Now, Broadway, uh, super awesome. Shout out to John Luke, the owner there, Alex the Brewer, Sebastian, who's out there working on it too. The whole team, I was there for brew day for this. I wasn't there for canning day, but it was really cool. The facility's fantastic, but they were working so hard. They were hitting up breweries in the States to find out how best to package glitter because technically it's crushed rock and it can actually clog up the canning lines. Uh, so they had yeah. to find the best way to do it. Now, I, I probably aren't the best person to explain that. I don't recall. They just did such a fantastic job and at least the instructions allow because the glitter would naturally drop to the bottom so the instructions make sure that they're always properly circulated. Like you said, the body is super creamy. Yeah. It's tropical. It's balanced. Now, the Kavik gives it a funkiness. Yeah. Um, which but not like in, too funky. It's, it's no, really nice and... it's like a touch, like a touch of like banana. I yeah. would argue that sits real nice with the um, Sabro coconut vibe. The lactose is very berry. Um, you can't even perceive it. If I didn't tell you it was in there, you wouldn't know it. Yeah, gives it a touch of body and just a little hint of sweetness. Um, it's just a very very balanced beer. It's very fun. 
people so far, the response, to be honest, I expected more beer purists to be a little yeah, upset. Yeah, no, everyone's added. loving it. It's great. But, like, yeah. I know people love people say don't put glitter in beer, but look how sick that is, bro. Like, also, is this a is fun... not a one minute beer review at all anymore, FYI. <laughs> this is it's good. like a mini beer mail. It's a mini beer beer mail. Mini That's beer it. review. This is just a very special beer. I'm very, very proud of this. Hopefully, people see it as the you know, innovative product that it is. Um, and hopefully, this is something that we can continue to do in some shape or form. So, if you're in Montreal or anywhere around Quebec from now and until the next few weeks it'll be slowly uh Rolling distributed out. across so look for it cop it drink it fresh drink it fast take a photo put it on the internet and always get, get it in, in ya yeah. yeah.